We are finally back after a two week break and after a disastrous run of form which you would have seen in the two streams a couple of weekends back. Can we improve today as we're back with a bang against top of the table Eastbourne Borough in today's episode of Back to the Bowling. Hello guys it's me Bad Jokes FM back at you once again with another video yet finally we are back I know it's been a while I know it's been two weeks really sorry guys I've been dealing with some issues of my own and so we're back today and like I say we've got a very difficult game we are up against top of the table Eastbourne Borough who if we have a look at the table they are only top on goal difference but they have looked very very good They've lost eight times this year, which you would think is quite a lot, but it's not down at this level. We, we ourselves have lost 15 times, most of which you would have seen on the two streams. If you haven't seen them, go back and watch them, but I'm going to go through the results now, just in case you don't really want to go through five hours of me just to catch up with stuff now. And so... The last video I brought you, proper video, was here against Wildstone, just somewhere around there somewhere. And yeah, Wildstone here, where we did lose 5-2, and then following that up, we beat St Albans 3-2, and then we lost another couple of games, but we had a mad, mad run of form, because look at all these goals, 5-2, 3-2, 5-2, 3-2. 1-1, one, 3-1, one, three, one, three 4 one and then this was where the bad form really came in, really. We lost, what was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the spin. 5 on the spin without even getting a draw, which in total meant 1, 2, 3, 4, yes, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We went 9 10 11 games without even a without a win it was absolutely shocking form see us fall all the way out of the playoffs all the way down to where we are now 18th in the table and i've tried changing a couple of little bits i'll go through the tactics with you guys in just a minute and also you may have noticed uh, cj plays you keep nagging me for this i've got i've got the logo sorted huzzah no idea what was going wrong. I've just looked at it now and just sorted it. So hopefully that should be all good. That should keep us going now. So that's all good to see. And now let's just go through the dynamics. Yeah, let's go through that. I don't think I've shown you that on a video as yet. And so as you can see, the match cohesion is average. Just the atmosphere is average. But the managerial support, considering I'm down in 18th in the league, is very good which I think is helped due to the fact that uh, board expectations are just to attempt to avoid relegation. So we're out of the relegation zone as things stand, but we do need to improve very, very quickly. And so dressing room atmosphere, let's have a look at that in a bit more in depth. It's saying we've got eight players at the club who are unhappy. Uh, and this screen I do like down here, how you can see how people are unhappy and why they are. And most of it is just people wanting a chance in the first team which you can't really argue too much about. I maybe might have done a bit of a boo-boo, bringing in so many players. And so, yeah, I think some of these might leave. Jacob Kane, I don't really want him to leave. Neither Nathan Owen or maybe Ronaldo Jones. But other than that, I don't think there's too many who I really want to try too hard to keep hold of. And so there might be some of them going over the next few weeks. And apparently there's only one player who could be considered to be very happy. Is there any way I can see who that is? Who is very happy? Can we not do it by that? Nope. I guess we've got to do it by social group. So let's have a look. It's, I don't like how this is yellow and how it's like yellow dots on yellow background. That's not very helpful. And so can we do it by... Oh, nope. Slightly happy, slightly happy. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay, well, we've got two that are happy. JJ Wilson and Prudence Anelli. They're both on loan. So, don't, not really the best that they're the only ones that are looking to be happy. And so, yeah, we've got a few issues with the dynamics, but that's to be expected. Brand new club, brand new structure, everything. Just still getting used to it all. But we're doing 
Okay, like I say, before that awful run of form, we was in the playoffs and in and around it. And still, we're on 29 points as things stand. So a couple of wins and we're mid-table. Which, if you had to give me that beginning of the season, I'd have bit your arm off, I'd have bit your leg off, I'd have bit your fingers off, I'd have bit your whatever's off. Even your knees. Even them I'd have bit off. And so, that's how happy I'd be with that. And so, all this season is about is just getting the team gelled, getting it all together, and then just and then just seeing where we are in, in this league. And so, let's go and have a look at the squad. Let's go and have a look at the stats and the average ratings and everything. So if we take them two out, because they've only played one game each, Kim Jae-hun is very, very much uh, deserving of being my favourite player. He's played 22 games, he's got four goals, two assists, and, average, and an average rating of 6.95. And then following him up is the goal-scoring machine, Jamie Calvin. 23 appearances, 12 goals, and four assists. And so, who else do we have a look at? Uh, Luke Bottomer, I am really liking him. He's played, what, 20 games and got 5 goals and 7 assists. Which for somebody out on the wing is very, very good. But as you may have seen from the streams, we're not playing wingers anymore. Because it just stopped working. It absolutely stopped working. And so this is a tactic we have gone for. What we got, we got a, we got a 4 4 4 4 2 bit in a diamond. And so... This is the team we are probably going to be going for, unless we can change Malpass, because I don't think he's been playing that well. Yeah, Ethan Miller is back fit now, so he's going to come back into the team. And so that, I think, is going to be the team for tomorrow. But I'll be back with you guys uh, in a minute when we're ready for the game to start. See you in a second. All right, guys, it's game day. We are here at the bowling ground. We're at home. For this very, very big game, this could be difficult. We are going 4-4-2, Diamond, Nara, Carey in goal, Wilson on the left, Smith and Steele in the middle, Jones out wide, out wide on the right, Burkane in the middle, Miller and Kim Jae-hyun in the centre of midfield, Callum O'Sullivan right up, up there, right up there in the attacking midfield role, just behind Dion McFoy Johnston and Jamie Calvin as our front two. And the top of the table, Eastbourne Borough, they've gone for the 4 4 2. They've got Craig Horlock, I think that's Craig Horlock. I'm not, I'm not going to try and find out all their names, I'm just going to guess, why not? Craig Horlock in goal, Kilman at left back, Kehinda, what a good name that is, that's a Kehinda awesome name. Cummins in the centre of defence, Hendon on the right, Sullivan on the right wing, Torres and Harris in the middle, Carey out on the left. And Uya Dabi up top alongside KMB. So let's hope we can get something out of this game. This is going to be difficult. I'm going to say we're the underdogs here. And that suits us down to the ground. Let's go and cause an upset. And a couple of them are motivated. And can CJ get anyone else motivated? Nope, of course he can't. And so we're going to end the team talk there. And let's go kick off the game. Here we are at home, like I say. Can we pull off a sock win? And get something out of this game, which would be amazing. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> well, that's the first half gone. You've missed precisely nothing, apparently. Uh, if we have a look at the match stats, there has been quite a lot going on, apparently. But we've just had no highlights been shown to us. Uh, they've had eight shots to our four. Four shots for them on target to our one. And possession has been, possession has been very 50-50. And so let's hope we get some sort of highlights in the second half. And that might involve us nicking a goal. I'm going to say we're not doing badly at all. If everyone continues to work hard, we'll win this. And also, I have just changed the match, what to call it, highlights, to uh, extended. It was on key. So maybe that was why it wasn't showing up any highlights. But now we are. Second half. And next, coming forward, Eastbourne Borough with the ball. Od Odebadi, I think that's his name. The ball goes out off our defender. And now, are we going to get any highlights? Here we go. A minute in, Eastbourne Borough, with the throw in, goes to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan plays the ball through to Oyadabi, to KMB, and just wide. 
We survive for the minute. Can we get anything out of this? Come on, lads. Get a shock counter-attack would be nice. As Eastbourne Borough again coming forward. Kilman with it. Crosses it in. Goes to Oddebadi. O'Sullivan hits our man. And now Kim with a ball. Tries to clear it, but absolutely nothing happens. And that's the end of that particular highlight, people. One more highlight for Eastbourne Borough. And now they're just coming forward. KMB gets it inside to Harris. To Carey. And that goes wide. Now, with about half hour left... I'm thinking of going a bit more attacking. Well, maybe not attacking, but I'm going to try and go control and go on flexible. What do you guys think? Is that what you would do at this particular point? Let me know down in the chat down below. And so I'm going to go confirm the changes, see how we get on for the next five minutes, and then maybe make a couple of substitutions. 65 minutes gone. Torres with a free kick. Hits one of our guys and goes out. For yet another Eastbourne Borough throw in near our penalty area. Can we get out of our own half? That would be beautiful. As now we appear to have done just that. Calvin nods the ball down for us. Goes to Jones. Back to Calvin. He crosses it. And their man clears it. And oh, we double team their man there and get it back. Goes to Burkane. To Miller. Miller with the ball out wide to Jones. And Torres clears it. And now it's Burkane forward. Just a little bit of head tennis going on at the minute. Carey with the ball. Goes over the top. And KMB's in. KMB's in. KMB suits. And KMB scores. Rolos. What on earth was that? We've been doing okay without being spectacular. We had one attack and they come at us. And if we just have a look at it again, it was just a ball over the top, beat our defence, and KMB very easily put it in past our keeper. And so now I've got to make a couple of changes. Do we go for that? I think so. Put Bottomer out there and put Calvin up top. And change... Do we put Curtis out there wide? Yeah, I think so. And change him for a winger on attack. He's not looking too happy about playing out there. That's because it's the wrong fella. That'll be why. And here we go. Uh, put him as winger on attack. And yeah, leave it at that and go attacking. Let's see if we can get something out of this game. We are literally just pumping the ball out wide now. Hoping one of our wingers gets onto it and crosses it first time. But now Eastbourne Borough with the ball yet again. They go back to Torres. And Torres with it. And we're trying to win it back off him without tackling him too much. And Eastbourne Borough with a shot that goes well, well wide into that empty stand. 15 minutes left. And we seem to be having a highlight of our own. Which is quite weird. As now Bottomer out wide. Gets onto the ball. He crosses it. Just about keeps it in. And we're level. No, we're not. Ah, oh, thought that was going to be the one. But that is good to see. Maybe that might be formation we might have to use going forward. As now we're coming forward again. And Miller with a long shot. What was he thinking? Just over 13 minutes remaining. As still gives away a free kick. And what's the referee going to say? Don't send him off. Don't send him off. Don't send him off. Please don't send him off. He's given me a yellow. Okay, we'll live with that. We can live with that, people. Now, what's going to happen from this free kick? Torres with it. About 35 yards out, I'd say. And so, he whips it into the box. Burkane gets it out. And Calvin on the counter goes forward to Curtis. And can Curtis get it back to Calvin? No, he can't. We'll give it away again. And now, come on, keeper. Why is the keeper not come for that? Why? Why, why, why? Top of the table, these. If if we'd have kept on playing like how we had for the first hour, we'd have got a draw, but it would have been a very, very boring game. Ah, oh, I wish we had just held on to that. And why did our keeper not even bother coming for that? If he'd have got on to that ball quick, that goal would never, ever have happened. Now let's go a bit more encouragement. Let's go encourage the lads. See if we can get anything back. As Eastbourne are coming forward again. Carey with a header just over the bar. 
Now, can we get anything? Just a goal would be nice. Miller plays it to absolutely nobody. As now KMB coming forward again for Borough to Odebadi. And he suits, but Carey with a stop. And it goes out for a corner. Come on, lads. Just see this away. It's going to be Harris to take it. He whips it into the box. Kim Jae-hoon heads it out. And then it goes back to Hendon to Cummins. And is he going to get it to anybody? Goes to Kinder John. Jones just about gets it away. No, he, yes he does. We get a free kick for some reason. No idea why, to be honest. Just about two minutes left in the game. It's Harris with the ball. Goes to KMB. To Odebadi. Smith gets it away. And oh, Harris with a long shot. And this game has pretty much been all Eastbourne Borough. This should be the end of game highlight. Kim Jae-hoon plays it into absolutely nobody. And come on referee, just blow your whistle. We have got a lot, a lot of work to work on. And the full-time whistle has just gone. And so that's a 2-0 defeat. And yeah, 18 shots they had to our 8. 8 on target to our 2. But possession was still 50-50. And so I don't think we was that outclassed. I think we was unlucky. I think I am going to try it and go for the wider tactic. Because we did seem to get some joy out of that towards the end. And so I'm going to say, uh, putting the result aside, that was a pleasing performance. And they've all switched off. Okay. That's what you get for trying to improve people's morale. Rolos. Okay. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave it for now, lads. I'm just going to take a look and just see who we've got coming up soon, just to decide where we come back. Okay, so that now leaves us it's still in 18th, but we are still five points above the relegation zone. So we've got a little bit of a cushion, but my days do we need a win, and we need a win fast. And so I'm going to just have a look, see who we've got coming up. See if there's any games that jump out at me for me to jump for me to come back with. I think we'll give it one, two, three, four. We'll give it five games, and we're chipping them in the league. They're twenty second. Okay, so that's what that's where we'll come back tomorrow. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for the Chippenham game. And so, uh, just before we go, just want to say thank you to everybody for the amazing support this series has been getting. It means a whole, whole lot to me. Can't believe some of the view numbers on some of these videos. Thank you all so much. It really does mean a lot. And so, uh, for the first time in a while, I'm going to set a like target on this video. Let's go for 15 likes. If we can get 15 likes, that would be absolutely great. And yeah, just one thing left to say. Follow, or a few things left to say. Follow me on Twitter, at BadJokesFM. Follow the club, at East Ham FC. I'll keep you updated with all the scores from these games I'll be playing off camera. And yeah, follow the club, at East Ham FC. And yeah, just one thing left to say now. I am BadJokesFM. I am out.